your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Overnight temperatures will fall back into the 50s as a cold front slides through, but it's not the cooler weather. That's the big discussion about this cold front coming in. It's finally a chance for some rain, some needed rainfall, and that should be arriving between about 2 and 6 a.m. for most areas. Those overnight showers and possibly a few thunderstorms will bring some beneficial rain. Uh, we're looking at uh, amounts to be on the lighter end only because of how quickly the system will move through, but it may come down a little heavily at times. Breezy, cooler weather settles in for tomorrow with mostly sunny days over the next several days and comfortable fall weather heading into the weekend. Mostly sunny still at Holton, just a few scattered clouds. Sunshine's peeking through between a little bit more cloud cover though, scattered around at Emporia as well as in Topeka. We're seeing sun mixed with clouds now over the last hour, hour and a half as temperature is at 81 degrees and the south wind staying at 17 miles per hour. It's been a very breezy day today. Started out at 66 and made it up to 83. Notice how far above average that is on the morning low, particularly nearly 20 degrees above average. As we head into the night, we'll still have south southwest winds for most of the night, and that's keeping us pretty warm. Temperatures into the 70s and 80s right now. We won't cool off a lot this evening. Certainly not with 15 to as high as 26 mile per hour sustained winds gusting to 30 or 35 miles per hour. That strong south and southwest wind will linger all the way up until the actual cold front arrives. So this, somewhere around 1, 2 in the morning, the wind starts to shift and weaken and then picks back up another breezy day tomorrow with 10 to 20 mile per hour northwest wind. So it will cool down, but it's all that transition time when the front itself pushes through that gives us the chance for some rain. Had the clouds and showers stay east of us last night into this morning. Here comes the next system. You can see it moving through uh, centered up into Manitoba, just northwest of Winnipeg. It goes all the way down to about Denver for that frontal boundary, pushing across the northern into the central plains. Coming in from the northwest, you watch on future track, you'll really notice what happens after midnight. That chance for showers and a few thunderstorms doesn't last very long, but could see some bursts of some heavier rain as it sweeps on through. Things wind down and by morning it's out of here and we're back into clear weather. Small window of time, 10th to a quarter of an inch. We're not trying like a lot of rain out of this, uh, but if you get underneath one of the heavier rains, you might get a little bit closer to maybe a half inch, but that'd be pushing it. I think most of us will fall between a tenth and a quarter of an inch of rainfall tonight. As we see that middle of the night or late part of the night rain, overnight lows will fall to 56 with a southwesterly breeze at 15 to 25 and 74. The rain, the clouds early, early in the day and then clear sunshine for the majority of the day tomorrow with a northwest breeze at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Looking ahead to the next several days, that rain early clears on out. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder during the late part of the night as well. And then we clear out to a high of 74, drop down to 43 Thursday morning with a high of 68, but still northwesterly breezes. And then we're into the 70s Friday and Saturday, but another push of cooler northerly wind comes in and temperatures start to cool back into the 60s toward the tail end of the weekend and on into early next week. And we'll start to see more frequent nighttime lows back down into the 30s as well. So we will be cooling back a little bit, but the best news is that we finally get at least enough moisture to settle the dust and yeah. maybe actually soak in just a little bit tonight. Uh, hopefully, definitely needed. Yeah. All right, thank you, Matt.